Hello, everybody. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Like, I almost feel like you're not, because it's so good. Oh, we're making color crayons this week. Oh, my Lord. Oh, they're so cute. Shut up right now. Can you even? Can you even? So here we go. Okay, so I did not leave just this plain finger to put on. I figured at this point you guys know how to put on a full nail, right? That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping <laughs> if I've taught you anything, it's that you can put on a full nail. Okay, so guess what? That orange and green set I did <laughs> made it all week Sunday to Friday. Well, I mean, I'm still calling it Friday even though it's 1.30 in the morning. All right, so I have some wiggle cut scissors. Wiggly, wiggly. And I used, let me start here, I used um, the very smallest nails out of Gotham Knight for my black because they're so small that I don't really always use them. So, um, but if you used like the second biggest thumb out of Midnight in Manhattan, I think you could easily do all your hands. So I took one of those Gotham Knight or I actually I ended up taking three fingers of them because I was um, only using the small small ones and then I've got sugar high clear as day shockwave blue to pest kilowatt and high voltage so um, I know that a lot of people do this in primary colors and please feel free use you know do primary colors but I mean Crayola makes everything you can buy neons pastels you can even buy skin tones so if you want to do this as a neutral set it would be so cute it would be so cute okay so then all I did was cut my little bit into strips and then I'm taking my wavy scissors here And I have found with the with these like craft scissors, if you start where you're cutting way back down here, they work good. If you try to do it just at the end, they tend to kind of just fold over the strip and and wreck it. They don't actually they don't actually cut it like they should. Okay, so now I've got my two bits of my wave. And It looks like sunglasses. <laughs> okay. And my second bit of my wave. And I'm just lining up, you know, and leaving a little space. Like that. And then I'm going to use the smusher. All right, so how was everybody's week? You guys, the Canadian fires, I feel so bad for them because it's been going for so long now. But yesterday, oh my goodness, well, Thursday, um, we had so much smoke. Where I live, okay, so the air quality guide goes up to um, 300 we were at 409 it was like literally no visibility and it stunk so bad it was just it was just horrible it was the the worst air quality in minnesota ever recorded so that's where we are but the fires are really just right above us um and there's bits of northern minnesota that is also having fires. I mean, we are just in such a stinking drought here this summer. All right, I might be off camera. I'm trying not to be, but I'm also trying to get close enough that I can fix this edge. No, I gotta get closer to my face, sorry. 
Sometimes you just got to get your whole dang hand up in your face to see what you're doing. There we go. Okay, so there we go. I am Neon Color Crayons. And I don't start back to work slash school um, here for like six weeks. September, probably, school starts back September 9th. It's a Thursday. I probably won't start until... You know, I won't start with kids until that following week. I'll just be, like, sorting my messy room type of deal. Okay, so these are a couple clear as day. And then I just saved out bits of all my colors I used. So I'm taking Sugar High and making it my underlay. And I know I've talked about that a few times with you guys. So um, I cut off just the teeniest bit at the bottom because I have very, very square nail beds. And so in order not to make those little rounded bits that peep out, I just cut off a little bit and that way it'll fit perfectly for me. Oh, I love sugar high, love it. I don't know if this is gonna be long enough for this finger, we're about to find out. not but I'll be able to fix it and it's not gonna super matter because I am I am layering for dimension like a lot a lot you guys it's gonna be so cute I'm so excited for these it took me all week I was like okay I gotta think of a back to school I'm gonna think of a couple was my idea so that I could do it for you guys that are back to school earlier than I am. So I just cut off a little piece from that side, the spare, and fixed up that tip. And honestly, if I left that tip, it wouldn't matter a bit because um, there's going to be so much stuff going on that it would not even have been seen. But, you know, right now it's seen, so I'll fix it. Um, so yeah, we've got a long, a long while still before we're back to school, but I know that lots of other people are heading back to school, like, next week and the end of the month. So I thought I'd do a couple back to schools this week, one today, and then one on Monday, and then I won't do any more back to school until closer to... Labor Day, which I think last time I said Memorial Day, girl, I can never keep those two straight, and I don't know why, but I'm bad with it. I'm bad with it. I always get them mixed around. So I've been working on a ton of sticker stuff for my friend Christina that has the planner sticker shop. She's been busy with that every night. My nails held up beautifully this week. There we go. We got sugar high. We're ready. Okay. Now, are you ready for this nonsense? Okay. I took out the star punch in the, um, what do you call it? One eighth size. I took out the heart punch in the one eighth size. I took out a Provocraft number 67 rectangle that I'm going to cut in half and make squares out of. I don't think I'll use the rectangle of it. Maybe. And this is a Provocraft number 62 and it is a circle but it is a, just, I really like the size. It's a little bit different than the 1 16th, 1 8th. Um, you know, the normal ones. And then this one, if you can see it, is a diamond. Cute, right? I got this on eBay. And it was cheap. Like a few bucks. So, there we go. Alright, so let's save our clear as day. We're not going to use them right now. Let's get some toppers pulled off. So we're going for 
all the dimension here and I thought all these shapes were very good like um, primary school type shapes right stop sticking to me a little booger come on okay Have you guys been watching the Olympics? They've been very good. Alright, so first we're going to get a little... A little diamond. Sheesh, that ad came on loud. Really, buddy? And let's do a orange diamond. I, as usual, have no method to my madness here. I'm just just cutting out shapes is all. Willow did her nails right before me and she actually was like all in and used um, some gems and she used the goo drip cutter oh they turned out so cute so tomorrow when I post my picture on Facebook I will post hers with me because they really did turn out cute and she doesn't usually I mean, she does keeps her nails done all the time, but a lot of times she just keeps them like painted black or really, really true red. Um, and today she used um, Russian Around, which is the black with the red, real fine red glitter to it. And she used... Um, Munich Mulberry and Shockwave. So that was, I thought, an interesting combination, but they turned out really cute. And she used nail gems because they were all over my little desk area. <laughs> she used all kinds of stuff, so I will post her picture with mine. bunches you guys all oh, these stars are gonna be super cute We are on, she has a girls group therapy on Tuesdays, but it goes for 12 weeks. Um, and then you get two weeks off, and then a new one starts up for 12 weeks. Which is super good. She loves it. Um, what else do I got here? Okay. Um, but we are on the two week break. And then not only that, her regular weekly therapy the gals on vacation next week so we don't have anything next week you guys I don't have to leave my house if I choose not to until August 10th are you kidding me I was like probably way more excited about that than I should be but I was very excited let me cut off the tip of that so I can get this in further Tonight on the grill, I made chicken fajitas. So, well, 
Willow told me I made chicken fajita meat because I didn't grill peppers and onions. You know why I didn't grill peppers and onions, you guys? Because I don't like them. <laughs> I like both peppers and onions, but I don't like them grilled. Um, so I just didn't even think about it. It wasn't like, it wasn't like a preconceived notion. I just didn't think about it because I don't like them. Anyway, so I'm bringing stuff in and I'm like cutting up the chicken and willows look. Um, did you grill peppers and onions? And I said, no, I didn't even think of it. I have them. I could have. Well, then it's no longer a fajita, it's a chicken taco. I said, okay, enjoy my chicken tacos. <laughs> and then she said, um, Dathan asked if I had refried beans out. And I didn't. I said, I don't, but I can take some out if you guys would like some. And I like refried beans. I just didn't think to do them. I mean, I just made it kind of this light, like, I did, you know, chicken with a mix of spices to make it Tex-Mexy or whatever you want to call it. And then I had guacamole and cut up avocado and lime and, um... What else? I don't know. I had all kinds of little accoutrement. Red onion. Um, tomatoes. Salsa. I don't know. Anyway, she said, <laughs> this dinner just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> and so then we were eating, and we were all sitting... Um, in the craft room and like watching the Olympics and eating and chatting and um, I said how's everybody's world's first dinner <laughs> but they both said it was good <laughs> I thought it was delicious I didn't care if anybody else liked it has anybody else gotten to that point like I feel like my whole mom life has been just making sure everybody else likes what I made and I'm kind of to the point like I'm really on the verge of starting to throw in mushrooms and everything because I love mushrooms even though none of them do I just I'm just getting less worried about if people like what I've taken the time to make I figure you can pick it out if you hate it and damn it I love mushrooms We live um, out of town a bit, and just down the road from us, maybe like two miles, is a really nice, um, nice big farm, and they do a farmer's market every day, which is awesome, like a farm stand type thing, and their sweet corn is ready finally, so I need to actually make myself go out one day into the wild and grab some sweet corn because that is definitely a good part of summer and see what else they have I don't know what all they have at it I assume you know tomatoes cucumbers type of situation oh no that one lost his little backing so I'm gonna have to stick him right now which is fine he can stick right now. I don't mind. Remember, if you um, if you pull this little trap off, it's so much easier to get your pieces out. But if you do it, then you have to remember to put your Thumb over the over the hole or it'll go flying. 
and you'll find them later in your hair or something like I do. Man, I love blue to pass. That is such a good color. I feel like I need more dots. Alright. I'll leave these over here in case I feel like I need some more of something. And I know that I want to... Um clip some of these. I want to clip the rectangles into little squares and I want to clip some of the diamonds into little triangles. Cute. I might need more diamonds though. I didn't do much for them. Let's see. Oh, I know what I was going to mention. And I forgot. One sec. Let me get this little diamond cut out. Come here, little bugger. to hold it with my tweezers. There we go. Um, I used this today. Buy it in Ultimate Strength Nail Aid. Uh, just because I had, Willow and I did on uh, Monday? Is it Monday? No, Tuesday. We had like 11 million errands to run. And then that was her regular therapy day. So we did those. And so since I knew we were doing those, I did a grocery pickup order at Walmart. And that was what I put on. I put on two of these in the blue. And then I think a couple in yellow. And maybe a purple. And then I got this quick dry glass shine top coat so I could use them um, um, when Marcy and I have our fall party which is coming up fall time ruckus cannot wait we have such a ridiculous amount of prizes this go around that I'm super giddy for it let me flip some of these over and see what I got going let's use a pink heart I will tell you from last week because you know I didn't really have any glitters on that melon or citrus set I guess that I was using on the top is um, you know like a shimmer or whatever but not like a true glitter and man there is something actually probably a lot there is a lot to be said for not having to take off a glitter polish. Holy buckets. Removes so fast and easy. It was lovely. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a few on there. Oh wait, we don't have a few on the other side though. Let's put a few on the other side. So we're giving this the dimensional look. And... Um, the only place I'm using an overlay that has, you know, the glitter stuff is on the bottom. And that one, Sugar High, 
because it's super fun and busy. And to me, Sugar High has a bit of, I will show you guys, it has a bit of dimension to start with because it's got so many layers of different color glitters and the little holographic and such in it. So it feels like it's already kind of dimensional. So it's my, my underlay, which is a lot of times how I use the glitter dip overlays. In this one we're having a triangle. Let's put a regular dot on there. And I mean, I think you could go with any shapes you felt the need. I just thought these were all very like um, primary school situation, right? And I'm not even worrying about cutting the bottom here because I don't even care. I just want to add another layer of dimension here. And I will put top coat on this, but I am going to use that clear top coat, no glitter. And then we're going to, and this didn't go to the end, but I don't mind. I feel like I maybe should give this a good smush so I make sure I don't have any air or anything in between my zillion layers I'm building up. Marcy and I have been working on prizes. Oh, I gotta show you guys what I made. I swear every week I'm making something to add to the prizes. Oh, Mar sent her, um, her, like, well, we call it a purge when we go through our nails and are like, okay, we don't need this many of this one and that kind of thing. She sent hers and man, some of her, her sets were really good, like, Chica Gold, come on. Okay, here's what I made this week. I made big stacks of all of them. So I made these ones, which are sparkly. And these ones, which are foiled, so they're also sparkly. And these ones. Mm, these are my favorite. So cute. And then those ones. Aren't they so cute? I love them. That was my one night I was up until like six in the morning making straight stickers. <laughs> They're fun. I made some that have little cameras and say, don't forget to post the nail fee. Don't forget your nail fee. And, oh, and I made some for a friend that say, um, she totally won this. <laughs> Isn't that the standard, like, <laughs> humor needed for a shop in Color Street and shopping online? No, I won it, really. I wasn't shopping. Fun little random bits to do. Oh, get on there. Did you guys get in on the little sneaky restock this week of one and four and such? And the 
buy three get two free and then I saw a lot of stylists did buy three get two free through Color Street plus get an extra from them so it was basically you know buy three and get three free total what? that's pretty good and we've got well I say we you guys I'm not a stylist if I forget to mention that I'm not a stylist um, we've got Canada coming up on us fast and furious here so I hope they're ready for that retired sets are out I have stocked up on my dots in a serious serious manner so I'm ready for it I'm ready um, most of the retired ones didn't make my heart very sad I was like okay bye buddy see you later but the dots of course did so I did a little stock up on those I do think that the dots and I think this oftentimes with how they do stuff that if they would have done them um, all the same they maybe would have sold better because they've got it where there's like some little little dots and some bigger like space differently and I do think that not everybody appreciates that <laughs> so but I know I tell you guys all the time that Fa doesn't consult me and he didn't consult me on the dots either I also don't know how much, you know, how much he's the one doing, you know, putting his foot into the designing. I would like to think that he, you know, is okaying stuff and pretty involved, which I'm sure he is, but, um, I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm. I got some L-O-V-E with these. I'm going to be very happy this week. Mercy just changed hers today too, but I don't know what she put on yet. Oh, I didn't put this on both fingers. No wonder it didn't feel like I did. She had done, um, what did she have on like interstellar and an overlay that I cannot think what she did for her overlay it was really a cute combo but she said the the dark tips didn't wear well for her which you know I mean there's always something isn't there you guys I swear there's always something but this um, high voltage what did I have last week High voltage and the citrus one squeeze my day oh my goodness you guys those didn't have a bit of wear after my week of them so for me that's a super win super super win oh they're so cute okay so let's get a I feel like we might need some more blue on this one a little half star situation over here and then I'm using my world's sharpest tweezers look at that it just peels it perfectly off for you if you can get used to using these, you guys, they might be, I mean, shy of the squisher, they might be the best tool. They really might. Because they are handy dandy if you can get yourself accustomed to using them.
Carter got to go outside today finally and play and he has not gotten to in quite a while just because it has been so miserably hot out. We've been keeping him inside and today he finally got to go out and he was very, he was very, very excited and the chipmunk was sitting on the, we have like a little bonfire area, chipmunk was just standing on the little wood pile torturing him. It was very cute. His little tail was going a million miles an hour because he just wanted to be free and have some playtime with that guy. <laughs> He'll call it playtime. Okay, hang on. I need to cut a... I need to cut some more heart. And I need a mod of blue. There we go. Okay, so we got that one loaded. We gotta finish this one, which needs green for shores. Let's give it a half star situation. That one we can cut with our nipper. These are so stinking cute. I really love them. All right. E. There we go. So I have a feeling we're, we've still got one more mini release coming. I actually think it's gonna be when Canada can sign on. Well, that's still two weeks away. Maybe, I guess. Maybe they'll wait that long. But I do think there's gonna be one more coming at us before fall release. I was a little nervous when they said they were doing the buy two, get two, like, I'm just like, eee, don't you think maybe you should save all this inventory with Canada coming on? I mean, I guess I've been around long enough <laughs> that I remember us, like, having three sets to pick from on the site or less. There's been a few times when inventory has been a real big problem and I don't want to see that happen again. I feel like they've really gotten stuff under control finally and I want it to stay that way. Oh, I feel I might need a little more green. A little more high voltage. No, not high voltage. Kilowatt. Okay, we did it, you guys. My party, party mess over. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love it. Now I can't wait to see it when it sets up. Wow, it's surprising to me how differently Kilowatt comes across on the camera. Like, looking at it. I'm like, holy buckets, because that's not how it looks in person. All right, we're ready. 
we're ready for school and we'll do one more back to school too this coming Monday. Alright guys, have a good one!